guys and welcome to TGN the Game Nerd the Shore. I talk about or play games that today we're going to be playing Super Mario Odyssey. In the last episode we arrived in the Sand Kingdom with the Odyssey and we fought one of the members of the Brutals named Harriet. And in today's episode the inverted pyramid has lifted up into the sky and a hole has appeared right from where it was. So in this episode we're going to go ahead and check that out. There are these skeleton guys right here who could be really annoying if... They all gang up on you, so I'd say just try to move as fastly as possible in this section of the game. Because you can see a lot of them spawn quickly, and yeah, they can just be really annoying. Kind of like those tiny Goombas from the new Super Mario Bros. games. You know the ones I'm talking about, where they'll just climb on you and slow you down. Now, let's head into the hole and see what see what's here for us. It's a huge icy cavern sort of area. Before we move forward, I just want to make sure that my audio is still recording. Okay, we're good. Okay, everything's good. I just want to make sure. By the way, I fixed the audio issue from the last episode I'm pretty sure because I was having some issues where for some reason the audio was echoing turns out OBS was capturing both my desktop audio and the audio from the game capture at the same time even though it should be like the same thing and for some reason it was offset so it was just like constantly echoing so I apologize for that but it should be good unless for some reason OBS wants to be weird again I've always had like a weird experience with OBS where it's just like the first time I downloaded it to record some videos and I had a weird experience where it glitched and wouldn't let me edit the window I guess is the best way to describe it. I don't know I don't remember it too much but I just remember I uninstalled OBS because it was being weird. Then reinstalled it after a while because my friend Carson, I'll go ahead and leave a link to his channel in the description. He hasn't posted yet, but he's saving up for a PC so he can actually record stuff. But yeah, he recommended OBS to me, so I checked it out again, and after looking at a couple of good tutorials, I found out it was a lot easier than I thought. I don't know why I didn't just do this. I don't know why I'd try to make it complicated there. But here we have another bullet bill section. I think we should go back to this area later because there's a secret path over here. I forget if that has a moon or a or a bunch of coins or both. But the way I'm doing this is I start off by doing the main moons, like the story moons, and then I end off the kingdom by doing some for fun moons. Unless there's only a couple of moons to get. I've said moons so many times in the last couple of sentences that it's probably driving you guys a bit insane, so I'm just going to move on. We're at the boss fight, by the way. We're about to complete all of the main story moons. And I said it again. <laughs> but yeah, I have to be kind of quiet because my brother's currently in class right now. But he is upstairs right now, so it should be fine. But just in case, I'll try to quiet down here. Get the bullet bill. And we go to this very obvious large arena here. And the cutscene starts. This, I forget his name, but he has something to do with hands. Basically, you make one of his hands punch this bit of ice here. Then you capture it and use it to rock it towards his face. It's a really weird concept, if you really think about it. Like, my first time playing through now, I was, just, I was just like, okay, I just do this. And then, then I'm looking back here and realizing, what even is this boss fight? But yeah, on his second cycle, he starts dropping these ice things in the ground, and then he punches. You'd think he'd just learn not to punch, but he's a video game boss fight, so 
he just does it every time. Speaking of doing stuff every time, he always does this little rocket thing with his hands. I want to stand in the middle and then long jump away. That's my best strategy at least. Now he does this weird clap thing and while we're here, this reminds me a lot of the Shifting Sandland boss from Mario 64 where you go into the pyramid and he's just like and like his eyes are on his hands or something like that. Now that I think about it, that boss fight's even weirder. <laughs> But yeah, that's a pretty simple boss. We're still in the third world, so difficulty shouldn't ramp up until we get to like the good later section of the game. But yeah, got our next multi moon. You got a multi moon. The hole in the desert. So hot now, but I do suppose that's what what we were trying to accomplish. If we keep it up, if we keep up this pace, we'll catch that Bowser in no time. Also, yeah, during cutscenes like this where you're talking to Cappy, you can move around the camera using the right stick. Do we have enough power moons to reach the next kingdom? If you want to check, put me on the globe, or you can just look up in the top right and see. No, we do not. We still need eight more moons. Quick math. <laughs> so, I'll just. Grab any random moon that comes to mind. And you guys can watch, I guess. We have one over here. I used to do Mario speedruns back in like 2018. Like, I wouldn't post or anything. But I would just do them on my own time. My best time that I got was like two hours and something. It wasn't a great time. <laughs> I missed an opportunity to be able to wall jump off of an ice pillar and get on top of there. But I suppose I could go back to Toasterina Town and zipline there and just jump off, because that is a thing you can do. Bullet Bill here. I want to save the last two moons we get for the ones in the inverted pyramid and the hole, because... I remember saying in the last episode, and in this episode, that I was going to go get those. So I shouldn't break what I was saying. I was about to say I shouldn't break my promise, but it wasn't really a promise. It was just me making a comment about what moons I think I should get. I almost did a really cool trick there. I think I threw Cappy early. I want to try that again. I'm really stubborn when it comes to this stuff. I just want to keep trying a trick. It may take away all my coins, or in this case, my lives, but... I just want to prove that I can do it. Also, this moon I wanted to grab because I didn't grab it earlier. So we'll grab this moon that I'm trying to grab. We'll grab another moon, and then the two that I wanted to get that I said I was gonna get. Someone's online apparently. Okay, this time I'm going to do this correctly. I keep getting very close- you know what? <laughs> I don't know if it's worth it. I'll just grab these two secret moons that I know about. I act like I only know about them. I know that was a really long pause, but... I've just been talking so weirdly lately. I don't know if it's just me, but... Somewhere around here- oh, there we go. You can get a moon, top of a dune. Uh, 
You can you got a moon on top of a It's a funny little rhyme. But I've just been really like weird in the way I talk recently. I don't know if you got you guys have noticed it. My next one that I want to get. You know what? One more time. Because <laughs> I just want to prove that I have done this before and do have the ability to do it again. It's so, like. I'm really close to getting this, and. It takes me a while to get back, but I keep just flip flopping between realizing that it's probably. Not a good idea to spend the entire episode trying to get this one moon. And then I go back on realizing it's fun though. <laughs> but I'll just say that that was my last try because I think I tried that three times. And so that's like a nice number because Mario boss fights always have three hits. Oh, by the way, I can't believe I haven't jumped into quicksand yet, but yeah, Cappy reminds you hey, don't. <laughs> Speaking of Mario stuff, the Bowser's Fury trailer was released recently. I think it was released when I did my previous video, so I don't know why I didn't talk about it then. Or maybe I did and I just have a bad memory. But it looks awesome. And I think the entire internet agrees, basically, because, you know, whenever Nintendo releases a remake and it's just, like, a shameless port, people are sure to know- sure to let them know. Uh, and I'm not saying that in, like, a bad way, like, if it is a complete lazy move for them to do something, then it, they should be called out, they shouldn't be allowed to- get away with stuff just because they make a lot of money. I don't know why I'm trying to get all philosophical here or anything like that. But yeah, people are really enjoying it. Or at least enjoying the trailers. I was wondering, on my second channel, go check it out by the way, I'll go ahead and put it in the description as well. Come on, bullet bill. But yeah, let me know if you guys want me to do blind playthroughs on my second channel because I want that to be my chill kind of channel because TJ and the Game Nerd has built up a what's the word oh by the way you can fast travel in this game <laughs> I'm just kind of blasting through this stuff because I don't realize that I haven't talked about it yet also glide on you can use him and fly around to different stuff which is a pretty neat feature Honestly, looking at this now, I should have saved three moon slots, so all of that stuff was for nothing. Yeah, we have to go through this backwards, kinda, unless we want to do a cool trick with Glide on. Yeah, this is- Dang it. That was supposed to be moon number one. We've been going for a while now. But yeah, that was supposed to be moon number one, because I told you the story about finding out about this in the last episode. The thing is, Joy-Con drift is a huge issue, especially with my Joy-Cons. So, I always try to correct myself whenever I do precise platforming, so that Joy-Con drift doesn't take over. But then, I just completely mess it up. But hey, I actually did it correctly this time. We get a bunch of coins and a moon. Now we're going to head to the hole in the ground that I was talking about earlier, and then we'll go ahead and end off the episode, because we'll have completed all we need to complete in the Sand Kingdom. I just need to stop being so bad at the game. Because... <laughs> uh, you know what, this is a much quicker exit. But yeah, this is a let's play thing. 
I don't know why I keep going on to points and then completely forgetting about them. But earlier I was talking about how I wanted to do blind let's plays on my second channel. Because it's more of my like personal channel where I talk about different stuff that I really enjoy. And I want to be able to also capture the joy of playing a game for the first time on YouTube as well. So I was thinking, and I won't do this with too many ga I suck. <laughs> I won't do this with too many games because sometimes I just want to enjoy a game for myself without broadcasting it to thousands of people. Well, I sh shouldn't say thousands because I do have like two thousands of people subscribed to me. But only like ten people watch my videos. Here's where I'd put like a... According to YouTube statistics, only 90 something percent of you. <laughs> only I recently looked at those statistics just for the meme of it, and it turns out that less than 1% of people are subscribed. Which I realized, like, first of all, I was like, oh, only 1% of people are subscribed. And then I realized if every person who watched my video subscribed, or at least according to this, I'd already have like 200,000 people subscribed. So I guess this is just shameless plug time. If you're watching this for the first time and you're not subscribed, go ahead. People have probably already clicked off the video at this point, but I thought I'd just get that out there. So we've got all the moons, and we're going 17 minutes strong now. I guess just because it's a big thing, first I did the boss fight, and then I did the coins. I guess since it's a long video, I might as well just show off any extra stuff that I want to do. If you go up here, turn around, Get to here, and then do this very spe do this very specific jump. I think we can then backflip, jump, wall jump, and we're up here. And there's a bunch of coins you can get. So I was at 463. Now I'm at 663. So that's 200 coins, just like that. But now all things must. All good things must come to an end. It's time to end off the video. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you're still here, comment peanut butter and jelly in the comment section below. And I can't wait to show off the next video because there's actually a decision we get to make where we get to go to one of two different kingdoms. We go to the other one eventually, but I'm rambling on now. So hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye!